And coming up next, it's a UFC welterweight division matchup. Mike, the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. Look at this high-level wrestler here tonight, DC. When it comes to the grappling, the wrestling, fighting this guy makes for a really hard night at the office. It makes for a hard night because the moment he gets close to you, it's like a fly stuffed in flypaper. He sticks to you like glue. He moves from position to position seamlessly. He possesses great takedowns from the clinch, from a nice inside trip to a bear hub or a throw. He's just one of those guys that the moment he comes into contact with you, a lifetime of wrestling has shown him an amazing ability to get you to the floor. Yeah, all of that one-on-one -on -one competition, as you mentioned, great in transition. Big spot, needless to say, for him here tonight. Our tail of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. Well, how about the age discrepancy here? More than 15 years apart with similar height and the same reach. To get us started, here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 14 wins, two losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Perth, Australia, Jack Della Madalena! And now introducing his opponent, Fighting out of the red corner, a wrestler holding a professional record of one loss and one no contest. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Chicago, Illinois, C.M. Park! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? All right, to so here we go. Round one is underway. Very compelling matchup for fight fans around the world. It's going to be very interesting to see how soon the grappler goes for the takedown. Well, he's going to try to get the takedown right away. But when he shoots that shot, when he changes that level, he is going to be shooting into a guy that truly understands all aspects of mixed martial arts. I'm wondering how, if his first shot doesn't work, does he approach trying to get this fight to the ground. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he's landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Good right hand. Left hand punches the clinch. Oh, beautiful work in the clinch here. Dirty boxing on point tonight. Wow! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Well, he's been good right, tonight. So he he a perfect good entry there, and finally he gets his first takedown of the fight, and they say if at first you don't succeed, try, try again, he's able to get him down. There. Persistence, age, and that's what we saw with this young man. Over and over, he shot for takedowns, he tried to mix it up, and he got the pivot. But eventually he... Oh, how about the transition with the ankle pick? Now we will see where he goes from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. All right, 
so the strike lands, but my my children hit her. <laughs> yeah, at this point, early in the fight, you saw his opponent's head snap it back. You can see the effect the punches were taking. Now he may as well just smack him on the arm, like, good job, guy. What a fight. <laughs> Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Oh, goes to the ankle pick now to get him down DC. We'll see how he chooses to proceed from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Allows him to get right back up. He did a great job securing that ankle pick, but did not react quick enough to secure a top position. All right, so just like that, back to a standing position. We will see who has the advantage. Nicely done. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Doesn't gain top position. What a beautiful takedown, but he just waited for one second, and his opponent reacted before he could secure top position. A oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been head hunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. Continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch. It's effective with the straight punches we've seen all night. Huge straight punch lands, and he's got to hurt very bad. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. And they set. You're in a clinch. Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Now goes in and secures the takedown. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when we talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. Right. Very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning. The position of the underhook opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. Take down here, he gets it. Oh, worked hard to get up again, but he looks like he's compromised. All right, single collar tie now. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Another big thing now. Perfect execution as he gets the single leg takedown. Well, the Octagon, not a great place to be when you're looking for a rest or a stool. His stamina has been a huge issue tonight. It's abandoned him, but he did it. He tried. He fought as hard as he could for as long as he could. Now it's about survival. Big ball punch lands. Now we get back to range. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short knife for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. And there he is, all smiles. What a huge knockout he turned in here tonight. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Ian Ravine's called to stop for this contest at three minutes, 18 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, John! There will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and 
Candidly knocking another man out. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was never hopeful. 